I'm with Marek Kilczewski, who's SVP for Global Engineering at Sea Change. Welcome. Nice now, we, we know that uh, two of the big challenges in multi screen are to increase monetization of services and also to streamline operations. Now, you've been doing some innovations with your asset flow content management system. Just tell us how you're addressing those challenges. Right. So with asset flow, what we're, ask, what we're trying to do is, um, is enable operators to be more innovative about how they go about metadata enri enrichment and, and how they can increase revenue by basically presenting more metadata um, uh, to make easier workflows, easier management of workflows, and, uh, and create metadata enrichment processes which will, in effect, uh, enrich the uh, user experience for their subscribers. And this will drive revenue in turn. So tell me more about the enrichment then. Uh, what do you mean by metadata enrichment and how does that sort of relate to how much money you might get from a subscriber? Right. Well, in today's world, um, metadata is really driving purchases and driving subscriptions and driving how, mu how much money is flowing through the system, in essence. And, and uh, usually it's not only about one metadata vendor, but uh, aggregating that metadata and making sure that the content is well described and well positioned uh, within the user experience um, is, is really key to, to how well it will fare in terms of uh, revenue generation and how, how often it will be selected and viewed by subscribers. So having a platform that is enabled and enabling to do that in an efficient manner is really key to our customers. Okay, so this improves content discovery, so recommendation and search, and also maybe even what it tells me about a, an actual show? Correct, yes. Okay. So not only that, it's, um, it's being able to, to, to search for new content, related content, um, also being able to, to make connections between various content uh, and positioning of content within the entire portfolio. Our customers currently have uh, huge libraries of content that spans hundreds of thousands of titles in many cases, and then being able to reach the content that they really want to view within that, that whole catalog is, is, is becoming a challenge. And that's where Asset Flow comes in, makes that whole process easier. Okay, and just in terms of the operation, I mean, you mentioned better metadata workflows. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? Are you sort of converging multi-screen and broadcast, for example, we know, or linear and non-linear, we know they've sort of been two separate workflows for, for some time. Oh, absolutely. Um, right now, viewing content uh, uh, is possible on a variety of devices, variety of formats, um, uh, whether it be bit rates, uh, resolutions, you know, additional features within the video um, uh, stream. So, so we want to make that possible. We want to make it possible to view that content on as many devices as we possibly can. And to be able to do that on the preparation side, you need to have a system that is able to efficiently uh, process that content so that it's able to be presented to all those devices. And, and that's exactly what Flow does, is it enables you to, to, to transcode that content and, and to position it correctly across the ecosystem of devices. Okay, and in terms of monetizing multi-screen services, we're hearing a lot about targeted advertising and you know, dynamic ad insertion, that kind of thing. Are you, um, I mean, you support it. How important do you think it will be? It, it will be increasingly important. Um, uh, we, we offer uh, dynamic ad insertion products, and, and we, we, we were committed to that space, and uh, within our end-to-end -end solution, we, we believe uh, ad insertion is a very, very important co component. So um, we, we feel it's been uh, underappreciated over time, and, and it's, it's definitely important for some of the key players in the industry. Um, and I, we feel that some innovation is needed in that space specifically. Okay, and I know in terms of client devices, the sort of range of devices I can target with your system is increasing. Android TV you've supported for some time now, but we're seeing a lot of Android TV at uh, IBC this year, and how important do you think that's going to be as a, as a client for set-top boxes? Oh, increasingly. We've, we've been uh, seeing that trend already for quite some time now, that, that Android TV, due, due to its ease of use, um, e ease of integration, um, and for a variety of other reasons, is becoming really the key platform uh, to consider. There's all kinds of other platforms that, that, that enable uh, deployment of user experiences on a variety of devices, but Android TV is really, in, and innovation in TV is really leading the space right now. Um, we're committed to it. We, we feel that that's really where our customers want to go, and we want to help them do it. So um, within the entire ecosystem of platforms that we support with our user experience product, Android TV is a really important uh, platform. Okay, and obviously RDK you've supported for some time and you've, you know, you've got deployments with that. So um, Absolutely. Is, is RDK developing, is that sort of rolling along nicely? It is in the sense that um, some customers do expect a level of uh, uh, flexibility in how they go to market with their, uh, with their client solutions. RDK provides that. Um, and, and we, we support them with it. Uh, the Nitro X uh, user experience product can be deployed 
on RDK, on Android TV, and a variety of other platforms. And our customers appreciate that flexibility, the, the ease of use and which, which goes with it. Okay, and Apple TV is another sort of end device that we're hearing more of. I mean, is that something that more service providers will be, that they will want as one of their options? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge part of the, the market share and, and over-the-top video in terms of devices that are, that are selected by customers. So absolutely, for, for any operator that, that, that goes to market uh, over-the-top, uh, it's going to be an important platform to consider. Um, that's why Nitro X also supports that platform, and, uh, and that's why we're committed to, to delivering you know, through, through Apple TV apps as well. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for, uh, for telling us about the developments. It's nice to meet you. Thank you.